How did you find this um, path of study and treatment? How did you fall into it? Oh, well, I was in med Well, when I was 12 years old, I was doing Aikido with a Japanese master because I had, I had lots of energy. And that was my first introduction to medicine. But oriental medicine is something that um, pay attention to preventative, preventative options like, you know, breathing and changing your food, alimentation, doing movement, exercise with Qigong. And eventually when you're not getting better, then they will apply acupuncture and plants and then maybe something even worse if needed. So they were doing breathing exercise and movement. That was already the first stage of preventative medicine. My master was doing shiatsu classes, you know, the acupressure. And he was he was just asking me to put, you know, we are putting our finger on each other, but he, he wouldn't tell us anything. No maps, nothing, no acupuncture maps. So we're feeling, 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 feeling. Oh, I think I have something there. Yep, you get a point. Oh, I have something there. Oh, there's a point there. Oh yeah, now that's a line. So we will discover by ourselves, you know, and develop our palpation and sensitivity. So I was, you know, I having fun with that. And I was, I touched a lot of people. I moved a lot of people with my hands. And then in med school, I did homeopathy, acupuncture, and osteopathy was an alternative we had. And it was always so natural for me to do hands-on. And so everybody said, oh, you have such great hands. I says, really? I don't know why. And then mm -hmm. uh, a woman asked me to do the theory for uh, lymphatic classes. She was doing Le Duc. And very soon I found the rhythm. And very soon I took over. I did the theory and the practice because nobody felt the specific rhythm of lymph. You know, it was just after med school. And I began to develop the whole curriculum. And, and also I had to do my thesis. So I did my thesis on the lymphatic system in the, at, you know, in med school. And I received a medal because I did a very extensive thesis. Then my book uh, continued and on and on. So it was just very natural for me to touch. Every time I touch, people say I had something so special. So I got a specific feedback from the universe that it was time for me to do something like this. And the other option was to do really medical treatments. And you are usually reimbursed, even in the States, for six, seven minutes per session. So somebody comes from headaches. I don't want to know where, how, why, what's your emotional situation. I just give you an aspirin or something like this. I make sure there's no aneurysm or... So it was really boring for me to not look for the cause of things. So uh, especially when I was a kid, I was really beginning to see auras and peoples and their authentic self and not and their persona. So I really wanted to look more into bringing people back into their authentic self. So also, but it was good. It was feeling life under your hands and supporting natural process and life to expand and and understanding people and emotions and soul and things like this. So I was excited to do that more. So that's what happened. Does it answer the question? That was what you wanted to know? Wonderfully, yes, thank you.